Welcome back to the more adult adult where the soon to be 60 something is reviewing this book by this 30 something on how to become a grown up in 468 easiest steps. So as I mentioned yesterday, today we're going to talk about the wonderful world of garbage. So we continue in chapter two and domesticity and point number 36. Be mindful about your garbage. This means getting decent trash cans. Make sure you have liners and or leftover plastic grocery bags for them. Do not neglect this step or your garbage can and will grow tiny, smelly civilizations in the bottom by this afternoon, especially if you live in warmer climates like I do. Also figure out what your city's recycling program is. So. In my house, I have a bunch of this size. This is a 10 quart trash bag or trash can. I use this in my laundry room. I have this one in my office. Every bedroom has one. And on Tuesdays, because the trash guy comes on Wednesday, we go and we go through the house with a big trash bag. We unload all of the little trash bags. We give the trash can a little squirt of Lysol. And we line it with the bag. Okay, the big trash bag, trash can that has the kitchen trash in it, I line that with um, some paper towels. So in case my bag springs a leak, which God, uh, you don't want your bag to spring a leak, but if your bag springs a leak, at least it's got a little something in there to catch any of the drippies. And when it comes to bags for your big trash can in your kitchen, don't skimp. Don't buy the really cheapy ones. You ever, do you remember that, that commercial a long time ago? I'm sure this 30-something doesn't remember, but, but anyone my age remembers. Whippy, whippy, whippy. Yeah, hefty, hefty, hefty. It, invest. You know, it's, it's important. Get, get the better ones because nobody likes a kitchen trash bag that's sprung a leak and leaves drippies when you're trying to get it to the big trash can which is outside or in the garage or wherever you store your big trash can. Okay, when it comes to the nature of your garbage, know what you can recycle and what you can't recycle. In my city, we don't recycle glass, which sucks. So if you've got a hoard of wine bottles hiding underneath your sink, just get rid of them. You don't need to. And if you can't find a place that takes glass, just throw them away, okay? I know, I know, it kills me, but whatever. So your paper, um, whatever your city takes. My city personally doesn't take plastic grocery bags, but my grocery store does. So I stow them up. I take them to, um, when I pick up my groceries, there's a little bin outside, throw them in there, boom. Also, because they're banned in California, I use them as packing material when I send stuff to my siblings. You know why? Because they don't have them and they love them and they, you know, and it, it sucks. But you can buy smaller trash can liners as well as the big trash can liners. Also, when it comes to kitchen scraps, okay, so we're talking potato peelings, um, that little bit of onion you can't use, garlic, um, the ends off of zucchinis or whatever, get yourself a ziplock and just throw them in a bag. And then eventually you're gonna have enough scraps that you can make yourself some pretty decent vegetable soup and you can make yourself some veggie broth, which is absolutely wonderful in it and it makes a good hearty, hearty soup. So all your kitchen scraps, or if you have friends that have chickens, or if you have chickens, you can give all this to the chickens and the chickens are just gonna love it and they'll just eat it all up and they'll be the happiest darn little chickens in the whole wide world and give you plenty of eggs. So anyways, know your garbage. Don't skimp on your garbage liners. Take it out on trash day. Make a point of cleaning your fridge the day before trash. Don't neglect the cat box. And then that's it. That's garbage. 101. Alrighty. Okay. Anyways, don't forget. Love ya. See you next time. Alright. Bye. Ta-ta for now.